to the backstabbers I can't sue. Becky, Ashton Dar, Mark, and Victoria Blue. Be you former friends or should have been allies. Some I trusted, others refused the courtesy to interact with me. The groomer who gangs up and runs because she can't stay sincere for the life of her, saying what she thinks will best suit her wellness when it often will only dupe the foolish. Allowed the groomers to stay and the innocent are banned, unable to show sincerity even when plagiarizing. The boy who loves trains and posts fetish art where it doesn't go, substandard in his existence with no definition beyond his own dumbass self. Unable to adequately recognize innocence and instead siding by the fake-faced woman with a penchant for going back on her word. The young lady from the Midwest like myself, a star in nothing but foolishness and a lack of critical thought, batting below her league with a broken down engine who doesn't have the ability to see the problem unless he's inconvenienced. Your love life will likely fail to no end. Then we have a foreigner I can't sue, with the OC, a chinchilla named Victoria Blue. While not my friend or even an ally, you were deserving of your docs after allowing mine. A first name is not what will make you easy to find. Mistreating a sweetheart, depravity prime. You feared me knowing your name, but the innocent do not need to play such a game. No matter what I said, your manners were crap. So now I need to wonder if you endorse the bitch who lies about nudes, groomers, and shit like that. Sexual harassment, doing that to me when I've never attempted such foul play. Are you her pawn too? That's your only route to innocence. As foolish as Kai, the pitiful twit. Vanilla and fly, or may or may not be themselves complicit. But how about you, Mark, who set me up? Then we have the other foreign scum I can't sue. Weaponizing someone I cared for is genuinely unlike you. Lying about a crush, lacking contact, and pretending to care what was up. I wanted to be friendly, tried to be nice, but that wasn't allowed. You called me a groomer for intrusive thoughts, but the way that works, it is not. By your own logic, you're a murderer. You see a person and know how to slay them, but how you would think that unless you have done so yourself? You say it's medical school, knowing the veins and arteries, but if by your words I have a victim because of thoughts undesirable and to my own nature untrue, then your own count should be at least a few. Judging me for when I was unwell, calling me a criminal, but never blinking at myself being the victim. May these words strike harsh, for I have your number. A putrid lover of evil who only uses law to frame others, but always has to be the victim himself. Clearly something is broken in you, for sure. All of you writhe and seethe, for I am that witch who has surpassed thee. Magic is a practice complex but fine. You all will twist my words to frame this as a curse or hex, but in reality it's just poetry. However, have fun guessing who's next. Now, on to the actual main vlog. Every word I said that is either a true event that happened, or what my genuine opinion is now. Let's go over them in the order in the poem, shall we? <sighs> Becky... I dare you to sue me. I know you have my legal name. You have people who will tell you my legal name. People who have my Facebook. Both of them, actually. 
You say you can sue me, and yet any time I call you out, you just run away and block. Because you're a coward. You can't take accountability to save your own life. How does it feel being as bad as you frame Lily Orchard to be? Which, for reference, I don't like Lily Orchard myself. She's a complicated mess, and uh, at some point I'm going to have to look into her. Just not right now. As it stands, you make her look saintly. I also remember when you said you didn't like calling her Cunty Orchard all that much. You backtracked on that after I was gone, apparently. Just like how you backtracked on being apologetic to Enter and his crew, the moment Enter made a stupid 9-11 thing involving his Turning Red review. Which Enter himself admitted was a stupid thing to do. And then there's how you have spoken poorly of pretty much anyone innocent who's been hurt by you. Myself, Lily, a couple others. You keep saying that you were never told of things when Enter showed clearly that you were. <laughs> uh, you're pathetic. You are the most cowardly woman I have ever met. And it's honestly hilarious. You have no clue how to do anything right. Uh, hey, let me guess. You filed an FBI report on me too, right? You see, here I am just trying to call you out and make sure you're accountable. Because your apology video was a shit Sunday that lacked any form of, you know, actually trying to prove yourself apologetic. When I was forced to apologize to people that I didn't need to apologize to a couple times. The reason I'm not apologetic to you, or a lot of other people now... One, the apology wouldn't be sincere, and two, I don't apologize when I'm the one in the right. It's one of those two. It's either I'm not going to apologize to someone because it wouldn't be a sincere apology, or alternatively, I'm the one in the right, and you don't get a fucking apology from someone who's right. So, yeah... Have fun figuring out which situation is which if you hear more about me. Dar, Ashton, you both are a similar caliber of stupid, so I guess I'll talk about you both together. Dar, you can do so much better than Ashton. Do you even realize how pathetic of a guy he is? Like, I have it from a good, reliable person that he literally sent fetish art to a general server. Like, a server that was not specifically about any weird kinky stuff. He sent giantess fetish art to a server with minors in it. I believe he posted it in the art section specifically. And he got banned from the server. Why am I mentioning this? And how do I know this? Because someone actually trustworthy told me about it. I'm not saying who. I'm going to leave that one up to your imagination. But as for you, Dar, you're a shitty friend. You can't see the evidence right when it's in front of you, and you're too fucking dumb to actually side with the person who's innocent. And, yeah. Congrats. You've, you proved yourself a disgrace, traitorous, backstabber, whatever you want to call it. You've proven yourself to be just an awful, awful person at your core. Ashton, 
You're worse. You are far worse. Because you just immediately went against me, and to this day, you still don't want to bury the hatchet. Gotta say, pretty sad. Whatever the case, one more thing. Trains kinda suck. Steam engines in particular. If they're for travel or something, that's fine. They're actually kinda cool then. But nah, trains for, for, uh, for cargo and stuff like that. Yeah, shipment trains are kinda garbo. Back on track, though. Mark. Mark. Oh, boy. I heard what you said about me. You genuinely think I have groomed someone. That I have a victim of grooming because of my intrusive thoughts. Never mind that I was manipulated by a groomer that suppressed memories are a thing, and I very likely have suppressed memories of being sexually assaulted. Yeah, let's, let's not think that those things might have, a, have some sort of influence on what messed up thoughts I have, and the intrusiveness of them. No, no, let, let's, because I've never actually groomed anyone, that's the fun part. I've never actually groomed anyone. I can share every single screen name I've had since I was 14. And not one of them will be tied to actual grooming. At most, false accusations, particularly of sexual harassment. Every screen name. Uh... That's gonna be fun if if anyone asks for them and wants to look into that. Hell, I'll even give them to someone I hate to look into who I know won't lie about it. But you know, it's not worth the effort. I mean, it is for some people, which if they wanna look into every screen name I've had, they may as well. Because again, it's going to either be false accusations of some still gross things, or it's going to be totally innocent. <sighs> and then there's Victoria Blue Chinchilla. Ooh, you, you freaked out the moment I knew your real name. What? Can't handle an even playing field? <sighs> kind of like M.A.? After all, M.A. had you always there to help gang up on someone. You always had to be there to help gang up on someone and keep attacking them. M.A. just only spoke up when you guys were winning. But sure. Sure. I mean, there's also you working with Fly and Vanilla still. Vanilla, I pity that kid. I don't know how far this is her being manipulated or her being just like you guys, but still. And as for you, Victoria, hmm, you had to keep pulling Emma back into that chat that one time when you were harassing myself and Fry and harass. I mean, seriously, you were okay telling a child, uh, like, the messed up things that you said. I, I know I'm dead naming the kid right now, but I'm trying to keep their dead name detached from all the drama going on now. From, er, not drama, but from things as they are now. I'm trying to respect them because, shocker, Mongrel's actually cool. Like, if anyone here actually bothered to get to know me as a person, you'd realize, oh, I'm a less edgy version of Nil almost. But yeah, yeah, sure. I'm the problem. 
th this does remind me of a different chat I've had where I was ganged up on, where it's like, I was mentioning all the problems I came across, all the shitty people, and then they had the audacity to victim blame me, because if I'm being surrounded by awful people, then I myself must be an awful person, when it's like, no, no, I didn't mention my friends, a server full of people that I'm actually cool with, that is growing in numbers no less. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. I'm running a server. Also, I've had a job change. No one knows what I'm working at now, except for the people I actually, you know, feel comfortable telling. Because, you know, those people aren't going to falsely accuse me, harass me, uh, lie about me, treat me like a monster. Hell... Mark, VB, I give you two credit for your courage. Dar, Ashton, and Becky all try to bury any mention of me because they're scared of the truth. They really want to act like I never came into their lives. Like, again, you two? Nah, you, you get credit for your bravery and audacity. Even if you people are as garbage as Ray Rants, or at least in the same tier, even if you're not as bad as a literal rumor. Though, considering you both have been involved in falsely accusing me of being a groomer, or have actually done so yourselves, I'm gonna question where you draw that line, where your idea for the accusation came from, if you're actively accusing me of that, because, again, I was doxxed. I was doxxed by Ray Rance. And yet, you still didn't bat an eye when it was posted. Mark, you're a worthless piece of shit hypocrite, and probably a murderer by your own logic, saying, I'm a groomer, but also saying, every time you see a person you know and think of every way that can kill them through, like, veins, arteries, and all that stuff with their bodily functions, which is supremely messed up. Like, obviously in the same tier of messed up as my intrusive thoughts, which, again, I don't want to have those thoughts if I get them again. I don't like those. They disgust me. They're disturbing. And yet, here you are saying, oh yeah, Mongrel must have done it before. It's like, if I did, if I did, would I be vocally disgusted by it? And, like, would I be projecting my voice, or would I be trying to be quiet and hide things? Like fucking Nekopon or James Charles. Like, think about this. What I say... I am very vocal about, I am expressive, I'm showing who I am, I'm projecting my voice, making myself easily heard, I'm not doing any of the typical crap that the people who were sorry they got caught do. I'm kind of doing the opposite, where I'm innocent, I'm innocent, and yet here you are, trying to continually frame me like I'm guilty. When by your own logic, Mark, you're a murderer. How many people have you killed? Like, actively killed, not through medical accidents. How many people have you put in the effort to kill? You see people and know how to kill them. You know their arteries and stuff. You have the thoughts of knowing how to kill them run through your head whenever you see a person. How many have you killed? How many people have you actually killed? And I don't mean pushing to self-destruction like VB has tried to do with people. I mean, how many have you done so to yourself? <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna tell you how I know this. If you want to know, you can get fucked.
I'm not telling you. And I'm not telling anyone else how I know either who's going to actually tell you. You just need to sit with that discomfort now. Same with you, Victoria Blue. Yeah, not the best move to name your OC after yourself. But whatever. <laughs> uh, your life is kind of sucky anyways. I wonder how your family would react if they found out that you helped harass a mentally ill person and are part of the reason a child groomer has gone free for so long. Because that groomer literally can make a case of defamation against you and M.A. Think about the level of stupid that has to be for you to have done that. To add... It made things murkier. It made it harder for law enforcement to actually act on her. You don't need to make up extra victims. You just don't. Then dragging that drama out and everything as long as you did. Then framing someone else for causing it. You're abhorrent, especially because you blamed a kid. You set one kid up to be backstabbed by a groomer, and then you blamed another kid for everything you had done for the second half of last year? You are absolutely abhorrent. Do you know that? What is wrong with you? No, genuinely, what is wrong with you? You make me look saintly. I know I'm not a saint by a long shot, but to still put that effort in and make me look like the embodiment of good, that is a special level of evil. I hope each and every one of you has the full gravity of everything wrong you've done hit you like a freight train. I've gone through disproportionate hell for being against your dictator of choice, whether it was Emmy or Becky or Nekopon. But whatever. Have fun guessing who I'm going to target. Because I'm on the offensive. My name is going to come down, but I'm going to make sure it doesn't go down without dragging a few people with me. Think about everyone who's attacked me and hurt me. Then think about who I can actually sue. And then realize, if you try to do anything to me, I can sue you too. Even if you're in another country. I have my ways. Enjoy the trip to hell. <laughs>